Detective, to whom do you wish to speak? Your action is unwarranted. Your action is unwarranted, Detective. Careful, your entire case could hinge on this find. Mishandling evidence can taint future prosecution, Carrie. Your homicide kit holds the tools of your trade. Don't lose it. There is nothing of value to your case to collect. Your behavior is not in keeping with the LAPD Code of Ethics, Detective. Hold on to this, Detective. It's a bit of life insurance. Rat-a-tat-tat. This does not appear to be in need of repair. How reflective. Is that any way to treat fresh fruit? Guns are not toys. Holster your weapon. Irresponsible use of deadly force is punishable by the department and the criminal justice system. Secure your ammunition. What exactly is your intention? These belong in your shotgun. Detective, what exactly is the purpose of your action? Spare change? The endorsement of smoking is not part of a police officer's duty, Carrie. Hmm, odd idea, Detective. Those are so stale, they're not fit for a beast. This is no way to handle leads on a case. Improper handling of evidence can result in a future mistrial. Does this look like a cassette player? Wasting departmental supplies is a waste of taxpayers' money. Detective, prescription medication should be distributed legally and with care. Just throw it. Your action belies the department's code of ethics, Detective. Careful, this stuff can be an eye and throat irritant. No identification is required, Carrie. Walk this way. Detective, you work too hard for your money to throw it away. Remember your oath to protect and to serve. Act accordingly. Holster your weapon. There is no tactical rationale for deadly use of force. Holster your weapon, Carrie. There is no tactical rationale for deadly use of force. What you see is what you get, Gary. The use of deadly force is not necessary. Secure your firearm. Irresponsible use of deadly force is punishable by the department and the criminal justice system. Save your batteries. You never know when you might have an emergency. Pride in your work is important, but no need to show off your ID. Arson is a criminal offense. Rethink your actions. These are your keys. What do you think you're doing? You might find this arresting, but it isn't a criminal. Careful with that thing. Tell me, what's the purpose, Carrie? What is it you wish to notate? Those are live rounds and should be handled with respect. Detective, these are department issued and should be treated accordingly. Not everyone or everything appreciates the art of photography. Feeling handy, like Mr. Fixit, Gary? Drinking responsibly is an individual choice. Learn to respect that, Detective. Breaking and entering is a criminal offense, Detective. You're being overcautious, Gary. There is no evidence here to collect. Pride in your work is important, Detective, but no need to show off your ID. A more professional attitude toward your duties is called for, Detective. There is no need for that. This form has only one purpose, and this is not it. These belong to the department and should be treated accordingly. Look, only you have to know and remember your qualifying date. This form has only one purpose, and this is not it. This document is vital to your case. Treat it accordingly. And not everybody or everything has a sweet tooth. That's an empty gesture. Uh, detective, it isn't the key to unlock that particular mystery of life. Select the control panel icon to display the control panel. Select the action icon to access the action cursor. Click the action cursor over an object to manipulate that object. Select the help icon to access the help cursor. 
Then move the help cursor over an icon to learn about that icon's features. Select the help icon to access the help cursor. Then move the help cursor over an icon to learn about that icon's features. Select the inventory icon when you want to see and select from the items you currently have in inventory. Select the walk icon to access the walk cursor. Then click the walk cursor on any one screen destination. Detective Carey will follow your orders. Select the inventory icon to access the current inventory cursor. Then click the inventory cursor on any one screen object or character and watch what happens. Select the map icon to display the map of Los Angeles. Select the toggle icon to lock the icon bar in a visible position. Save your batteries. You never know when you might have an emergency. Your intentions are unclear, Detective. Select the Look icon to access the Look cursor. Click the Look cursor on an object to receive a description of that object. Select the Talk icon to access the Talk cursor. Then click the Talk cursor on an object or character you wish to engage in conversation. Deadly use of force was not tactically correct. You're hit. <laughs> These are not decorations to be worn. They're possible evidence. These go into an empty clip, not you. There's no time for a snack here, Detective. You have a case to solve. Detective, wearing your badge exposed can intimidate the general public. Wearing your badge exposed, Detective, can intimidate the general public. It's best to present it when necessary. Plastic bags are not toys. Risk of suffocation if handled improperly. What are you attempting to do, Detective? The situation does not call for added protection. That should provide some protection. Detective, you have around $40. That'll do for a few days. Carrie, this does not belong to you. You are merely the messenger. Keep the barrel pointed away from yourself, your finger off the trigger, and always assume the gun is loaded. Upon review, you realize this is the crime scene log prepared by Officer Woodbury. What are you attempting to light? Yikes, those keys are sharp. That would kind of stifle your job performance, wouldn't it, Carrie? Watch out, that thing's flaming. Uh, cleaning the mirror, Detective? What is it about yourself you wish to notate? Detective, it's not necessary to wear your headgear at this time. If you're not careful, Carrie, you're going to crush that photo. Carrie, teeth cleaning should be done by a dental hygienist. It's safer. The beer is cold, frosty, and delicious. Careful, you could hurt yourself with that thing. No need to put those on at this time, Detective. Collecting samples? There's no need to wear your Parker Center ID at this time. These forms are used as follow-up reports, not napkins. Detective Carey, try not to dwell on Hickman's death. Checking. You verify your signature is on the form. You put on your safety glasses. Upon review, you realize Lieutenant Block is a fine writer. Double checking, you verify your signature on the form. Upon review, you realize this is the crime seed log prepared by Officer Woodbury. Carrie, you can't afford the calories. Think healthy. There is no liquid in the can. Any thirst you have will have to wait. Apparently, this is not the key to your heart. Hey, you're wasting batteries. <laughs> Don't tie yourself down. Detective John Carey, Major Grimes, Homicide. What is it you're trying to say? You adjust your tie and smooth the wrinkles from your suit. Carey, never reuse a hypodermic needle. Handle used needles with caution. Having a hard time opening your kit, Detective? Try the most direct method. This does not belong to you, Detective. You are merely the delivery person. Careful, Detective. You could hurt yourself. Look, you're not broken. Maybe a little tired, but not broken. Damn handsome.
Never point a loaded firearm at yourself. Gun safety is no joke. Keep the barrel pointed away from yourself, your finger off the trigger, and always assume the gun is loaded. Yep, it's a full clip. Yep, it's an empty clip. Detective, these belong in your shotgun. Hey, watch the suit. The newsprint smudges. You're not coin-operated. Smoking, a nasty habit. Stop before you start. It almost fits you, Carrie, though it doesn't go with your suit. These pretzels are so stale, they aren't fit for a dog, let alone you. For the time being, Carrie, these case files are in your possession. A rather morbid gesture, Detective. Besides, you're not missing any bones. You don't have a Walkman on you. You're unable to play this tape. Hey, you're getting your suit dirty. Detective, this is not your prescription. Careful, you're playing with fire. Your hair looks fine, Detective. Don't worry about it. You attach your Parker Center ID to your suit. You secure your headgear. Raise this to increase the amount of background animation. Lower it if gameplay seems sluggish. Use this to increase the amount of background animation. This increases the volume on some soundboards and synthesizers. This increases your character's speed within the limits of your computer's capabilities. Select this icon to save the current state of your game. When you later select Restore, everything will be exactly as it is now. Select this icon to restore a game you saved earlier. Select this icon if you wish to restart the game from the very beginning. Select this icon to leave the game. Here's where you learn more about the creators of this game. To learn about the other items in this window, first click here, then pass the question mark over the other items. Select this icon to resume gameplay. Use this to decrease the amount of background animation. This decreases your character speed. This decreases the volume on some soundboards and synthesizers. This adjusts your character's speed within the limits of your computer's capabilities. This adjusts the volume on some soundboards and synthesizers. The chalk feels so chalky. Draft beer. The beer mug is frosty cold. 24-inch pry bar. Very handy. The pry bar is heavy for such a small tool. It's your Parker Center identification badge. It's laminated. Eye protectors, 200 times stronger than glass. Impact resistant plastic. There is nothing noteworthy about the paper stock on which this memo is typed. Qualification form 13.5.1. Thicker than paper, thinner than cardboard. Alley crime scene log prepared by Officer Woodbury. Standard weight paper. Chewy, crunchy, chocolatey candy bar. Candy is merely empty calories, something you can't afford. Completed 3.14 follow-up report documenting ambush gunfight. The paper is standard weight. You complete a 3.14 documenting the gunfight and the players involved in the ambush. The department buys the least expensive paper it can, and it feels like it. Completed 3.14 follow-up report relating incident with Dennis Walker. You complete report 3.14 documenting assault by Walker. Follow-up report 3.14 with found arm bone information. This feels like recycled paper. You fill out follow-up report form 3.14 with information concerning found arm bone. Completed 3.14 follow-up report regarding victim Luella Parker and Barbie Can's relationship. This paper doesn't have any of the curves that Barbie Can does. 
You complete follow-up report 3.14 with information regarding victim Luella Parker and stripper Barbie Can's relationship. A completed 3.14 follow-up report documenting victim Luella Parker and Mitchell Thurman's relationship. Paper is paper. It all pretty much feels the same. You complete your report on what you know of victim Luella Parker's contact with Mitchell Thurman. Your pockets are empty. Everything has been removed from your pockets. Do not try this at home. You fill out follow-up report form 3.14 with information concerning found arm bone. Case number 14434-0, Mitchell Thurman. Butane lighter. Completed 3.14 follow-up report documenting interview of your money. One report feels pretty much the same as another. You complete a 3.14 documenting your interview of your money. 3.14 documenting arrest of Wendy James for assault on an officer. You complete a report on Wendy James' arrest and attempted assault on an officer. The grip on the Beretta is a fine fit for your hand. You exchange a full clip for the empty clip. Loaded and ready for action. With a full 15, the clip must weigh approximately 12 ounces. Non-smear newsprint. Your hands remain clean. Twisted pretzels. Yum. These are so stale you can't break them in half. Case number 18908B. Barbie Can. The folders are filled with Luella Parker's case files. Bob Hickman's prescribed sedatives. Careful, the cap is already loose on this bottle. Beauty Net Hairspray. Fluorocarbons Galore. Department issued 9 volt anodized aluminum flashlights. Department issued handcuffs. The cuffs are cold to the touch. Your department issued memorandum book and pencil. The simulated leather notebook is well worn. The photograph taken of you and Hickman at the lake, the time you caught the big one. Ask for the best. Ask for Kodak paper. The jar is used to collect samples when SID is not called for. Empty glass jar is lightweight. Rubber gloves used against infection or contamination. The rubber feels quite thin on these gloves. Departmental Follow-up Form 3.14 Standard Weight Standard Department Issued Memo Paper Qualification Form 13.5.0 The card is thicker than paper, thinner than cardboard. Completed 3.14 Follow-up Report Documenting All Incidents Relating to the Alley The ink doesn't rub off. You write up a 3.14 documenting the incidents relating to the alley. Amico Industrial Strength Glue. The canister is metal. You apply glue to the drumstick. You apply glue to the mirror. It's the broken side mirror from your car. A mirror's smooth surface allows images to be formed by reflection. You apply glue to the mirror. The drumstick has a crusty coating of dry glue. You apply fresh glue to the dried glue surface. The glue has dried. The mirror will not attach to the stick. The drumstick is coated with sticky glue. You've applied enough glue. You attach the mirror on to the end of the stick. There is no need to reload your shotgun at this time. It is unnecessary to complete an additional 3.14 follow-up report on Mitchell Thurman's contact with Luella Parker. You do not need to write another report on the ambush in which you found yourself. No need to duplicate work. Your report on Walker is completed. You don't need to fill out another follow-up report on the arm bone. There is no need to duplicate your work. A report regarding Barbie Can has already been completed and turned into your murder book.
Upon shaking, a skeleton key emerges from the can. The soda can is empty. Circa 1972. This drumstick is nicked and battered, in other words, well used. You apply glue to the drumstick. Apples are nutritious and a good source of vitamin C. The apple is smooth to the touch. It's your wallet. The leather is well worn. It's your Beretta 92F. Department issued Ithaca 12 gauge shotgun. There's nothing like the feel of a 12 gauge shotgun. You reload your shotgun. Your clip is empty. The steel construction feels solid. Department issued 12 gauge shotgun shells. Handle all ammunition with extreme care. Your badge is a symbol of your commitment and your identification. The shiny metal is cold in your hand. Spare change. The coins jingle in your hand. Menthol Garden Cigarette, taken from the ashtray at Yo Money's house. Ashes coat the half-smoked cigarette. It's a broken stiletto. The shoe flops in your hand as the shank is broken. Unearthed bone found in Griffith Park, origins unknown. The sinews can be felt beneath the plastic. It's the latest release from Yo Money. The attached receipt is marked Ragin' Records. The audio cassette is plastic. Steel crowbar. It's heavy. It's a crowbar. This looks like a dog toy. The rubber ball feels like a giant spitball. Your report on the ambush is already complete. The report documenting assault by Walker is already completed. Form 3.14 is already filled out with the arm bone information. You have already completed this report regarding Luella Parker and Barbie Can's relationship. The 3.14 is already completed regarding victim Luella Parker's contact with Mitchell Thurman. The 3.14 is already completed with information regarding the alley incident. You have already completed the 3.14 documenting your conversation with Yo Money. The 3.14 is already completed with the details of Wendy James' arrest. There is nothing like the feel of Kevlar when it comes to safety. You have enough glue on the stick. There is plenty of glue on the mirror. The mirror is coated with glue. You glue the stick to the mirror. You've applied enough glue. There is no need to reload at this time. Those two items don't go together. Deformed 9mm slugs taken from the cinder block wall in South Central. The slugs can be felt through the plastic container. It's your department issued homicide kit. The leather case has served you well. The baggies hold evidence found at crime scenes. The plastic is slippery. Bob Hickman's personal belongings envelope from the coroner's office. The weight of the envelope indicates there are many items within. Kevlar bulletproof vest. You apply fresh glue to the drumstick. You apply fresh glue to the mirror. The dry glue has left a gummy coating on the mirror. The glue has dried. The stick will not attach. You apply more glue to the dry glue surface. No need to reload. Your Beretta 92F is fully loaded. You load your Beretta. Watch where you light that. You could start a fire. Combining the lighter's flame with the aerosol spray produces a torch. The flashlight's weight makes it more than an illumination device. Three yards of rope. Dirty rope, that is. This rope is so dirty it feels like it was used to rope cattle. Generic convenience store matches. Careful where you light those, you could start a fire. These are your car, office and home keys. Numerous keys are indicative of a complicated and busy life. 
The makeshift torch provides a good-sized flame. Yow! Watch out! That's flaming! Click on the OK icon to return to the game. Click on the Look icon to receive the Look cursor. Then click the Look cursor on an object to receive a description of that object. Click on the Action icon to receive the Action cursor. Then click the Action cursor on an object to manipulate that object. Select the Help icon and move it over an icon to learn about that icon's function. Click on the Select icon to receive the Select cursor. Then click the Select cursor on any item you wish to select. A 180 degree mirror. You have created a handy tool. Click on this arrow to scroll through your inventory. Click on this arrow to scroll through your inventory. Click and drag on the slider to scroll through your inventory. Remington 9mm 115 grain jacketed hollow point. The weight of the bullets is surprising given their size. Department ear protectors, a must on the range. The ear protectors appear to be well maintained. The hypodermic contains residual fluids. Careful how you handle this, you could get jabbed. Bobby Washington's personal belongings envelope, released from the county coroner's office. The envelope feels as though there is not much in it. The putty knife is made in the USA. The putty knife is solidly made. Chalk, made in the USA. The box is heavy. The soda can is dented and has been previously opened. Skeleton keys were originally tooled in such a way as to be master keys. The key is made of pewter. There is no need to complete an additional report on the incidents regarding the alley at this time. No need to duplicate paperwork. You have already documented your conversation with Yo Money. There is no need to duplicate work. Your report on Wendy James has already been filed. CCI Blazer 9mm 115 grain. The department did not design these to be left in flower beds, Detective. Leaving live rounds around could be harmful to someone's health carry. Litterbug, straighten up. You represent the world renowned LAPD. Yo, money must spray pesticides. There are no bugs to catch. Detective, storing this evidence here could ruin its value. Who do you think you are, Johnny Appleseed? Identifying yourself to a bunch of plants? You need some rest. What are you attempting to collect? Bury evidence? Remember, you pledged to protect and to serve. Hunting for ants? Chalk dirt? Is this a new concept in fertilizing, Detective? Danny D sees you littering and you're in big trouble, pal. Hey, no cost to look, Detective. Carrie, leaving this here would show a total disregard for department procedure. Carrie, leaving this here would show a total disregard for department procedure. Yo Money wouldn't like you to pick his flowers. Detective, what exactly are you attempting to accomplish? There's plenty of light to see by without using your flashlight, Carrie. This does not require bagging. SID is not here to photograph. Besides, what constitutes this as evidence? SID is not here to photograph. Besides, what constitutes this as evidence? Detective, how have you determined this to be evidence? The jar is too small to hold that, Detective. It does not require special handling, Carrie. The shoe appears broken. However, to fix it, you'd need more than a little glue. The shoe appears broken. However, to fix it, you'd need more than a little glue. Do you find this arresting, Detective? Carrie, target practice at the academy, not on a private citizen's lawn. It looks like a woman's shoe. Detective, it would be premature to notate this in relation to your case. Watch it! Feel like digging in the dirt? Wait until there's something worth digging for, Detective. Do you really expect it to talk back?
Practicing your golf swing, detective? It's a well-tended flower bed. Hello, all you plants. Carrie, to leave this in the dirt would be incredibly unprofessional. Have more respect, Carrie. This belongs to Bob's family. Detective, this is life insurance. Keep it. Money wouldn't like you trashing up his yard, detective. None of these flowers or plants appears broken. The gardener could cut his hand if you left this hidden in the dirt, detective. Never, ever throw money away. It's too hard to come by. This is no place for target practice, Carrie. Holster your weapon. Littering is not a part of being one of L.A.'s finest. You picked it up, detective. It's yours now. Hoping to grow a pretzel garden, detective? Is this a homage to your money? Prescription medication can hurt or kill if used improperly. Yo Money would not appreciate a brush fire outside his home, carry. Why leave this here, cowboy? Detective, small fires can turn into big infernos in Southern California. Most people try to hold on to their keys, not toss them away. Odd idea. What exactly do you wish to notate? Detective, why leave this photo here? You feel like digging in the dirt? Wait until there's something worth digging for, Detective. Mess up this flower bed and your money will probably mess with you. No time for gardening now, Carrie. You're on assignment. Detective, what do the plants care that you work out of Parker Center? Litter, and you'll have to answer to your money's bodyguard. Look, these are leads. Keep them, follow them, bust this case. Your chalk is better kept in your homicide kit. Ugh, detective, that'll stink up your trunk. Come on. You might need a little spare change, Carrie. Better keep it in your pocket. That's no way to handle your paperwork. Detective, what are you searching for? Detective, your trunk is messy enough without that thrown in there. You better keep your kit with you. You never know when you might need it. Better keep your kit with you, Carrie. You never know when you might need it. Your flashlight belongs in your homicide kit. Detective, that's no way to handle leads. Keep those files in order. Carrie, if you leave this form back here, you'll never find it again. Live rounds should not be left unlocked in the back of your trunk, Detective. What? You think this is a file cabinet? What? You think this is a file cabinet? This belongs in your homicide kit, detective, not rolling around your trunk. Have those been used? If not, keep them in your kit. Carrie, if that glue opens, you'll have a mess on your hands. Well, okay, in your trunk. Detective, if that glue opens, you'll have a mess on your hands. Well, okay, in your trunk. This is not a good place to keep your cuffs, Carrie. What if you need to restrain someone? Detective, this is not a good place to keep your cuffs. What if you need to restrain someone? You might need these, Gary. Hold on to them. Hey, that could really stink up your trunk on a hot day. Better not, Detective. Deadly force is the only reasonable alternative. Detective, use the shotgun. You're going to junk up your trunk. Detective, there must be something better you can think of to do with this tape. Carrie, this isn't an item you want to pack away. Detective, risk of harm is everywhere. Detective, better to keep this on your person. You might need to make a purchase. Detective, better to keep this on your person. You might need to make a purchase. Remember, proper performance of an officer's duty lies primarily with the officer himself. Do the right thing. Remember, proper performance of an officer's duty lies primarily with the officer himself. Do the right thing. You unlock the shotgun, Carrie. This is your Ithaca 12-gauge pump shotgun. Detective, keep this in your homicide kit and you'll have unlimited access.
Detective, this evidence could get damaged writing back here. Better keep it up front with you. Detective, this evidence could get damaged writing back here. Better keep it up front with you. Carrie, that apple would rot if kept back here. Your badge is your introduction to the public, Detective, and should be kept with you. Detective, your badge is your introduction to the public and should be kept with you. Your trunk is messy enough. Keep these baggies in your homicide kit. Your trunk is messy enough. Keep these baggies in your homicide kit. Detective, this evidence could get damaged writing back here. Better keep it up front with you. Carrie, this evidence could get damaged writing back here. Better keep it up front with you. Keep that candy back here? It melt all over. You took those. You must have had something in mind to do with them. You took those. You must have had something in mind to do with them. Detective, keep this in your homicide kit and you'll have unlimited access. Store this away properly. Detective, does this look like a file cabinet to you? Hey, cowboy, you might need this. Better keep it handy. Never, ever surrender your gun, Carrie, not even to your trunk. Parker Center ID is not that easy to come by. Better hold on to it. It's police banner tape used at crime scenes for setting up a perimeter. To protect the public, your shotgun is locked. These are 12-gauge double-aught buckshot shells. Keep this in your homicide kit, detective, and you'll have unlimited access. Carrie, your trunk carries the tools of your trade. If tossed back here, it could be forgotten. Do you really want that, Carrie? Detective, your trunk isn't a garbage can. This might contain important information. Hold on to it, Carrie. Detective, prescription medicine should not be left lying around. One small gas leak, detective, and kablooey! Playing with fire can be dangerous. Watch yourself. Your keys, you're going to lock them in your trunk. Hey, watch it. Tell me, what could possibly be noteworthy about the inside of your trunk? If you don't want to carry this around, why not return it? Parker Center ID is not that easy to come by, detective. Better hold on to it. It's your homicide kit. You remove your homicide kit from the trunk. Detective, you don't need to identify yourself to your kit. You don't have to pay for it. The kit's department issued. Your kit is not locked, detective. This kit does not require restraint carry. Detective, recording that you have your kit with you is unnecessary. It's police banner tape used at crime scenes for setting up a perimeter. There is no need for banner tape at this time, Carrie. The shotgun is already unlocked. Use of force to this degree is unnecessary at this time, Carrie. Deadly use of force is unnecessary at this time, Detective. These 12-gauge shotgun shells are not needed at this time. The shotgun is locked. You select the lobby as your destination. You're currently on the seventh floor. Choose a different destination, detective. You select the eighth floor as your destination. You're currently on the eighth floor. Choose a different destination, detective. Don't be playing with the buttons, Carrie. Choose a floor. You select the basement as your destination. You're currently in the basement. Choose a different destination. Don't be playing with the buttons. Choose a floor, detective. Quit fooling around, Carrie. You don't have an emergency. Don't panic. You're currently on the fifth floor. Choose a different destination, detective. You select the sixth floor as your destination. You're currently on the sixth floor. Choose a different destination, detective. You select the seventh floor as your destination. You select the second floor as your destination. You select the third floor as your destination. 
You select the fourth floor as your destination. You select the fifth floor as your destination. You're currently in the lobby. You're currently on the second floor. You're currently on the third floor. You're currently on the fourth floor. Choose a different destination detective. 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 Carrie, paying for information is not the department way. A most aggressive gesture detective. The alley is paved with gravel and dirt. The ground is devoid of tracks or marks. What exactly are you trying to communicate? There's enough light in the alley in which to see by. Detective, you must account for all ammo issued to you. Keep your clip. The alley echoes with violence and desolation. The back alley to the Lucky Mini Mart. It doesn't look so lucky now. I didn't know it was Hickman until we got up to the body. I can tell you, sir, I was shocked. He was the last person I expected to see. He was a fine officer. Officer Woodbury, I'm taking over as lead investigator. Officer Woodbury, when we're finished here, I want the neighborhood canvassed to see if anyone's missing a child but has not reported it yet. Were you the first on the scene? Is there anything else you can tell me, Officer Woodbury? I'll be stepping in as lead investigator, Officer. Can you tell me what the situation was when you got here? Officer, I want you to notify Detective Headquarters and Communications we've discovered another homicide. Approximate age, six years, apparent victim of gunshot wounds. That's it? It's Hickman, and yes, he was working the crash unit, although I didn't know he was working this neighborhood. You've never seen him before, and this is your regular district? Is there anything else you can tell me, officer? The tortured and tormented body of Bob Hickman, LAPD, lies lifeless among the alley debris. An obvious case of felonious homicide. Sam, do you have a preliminary finding on Hickman's cause of death? He's just a child, Sam. What's happening on our streets? Sam, we're going to need another ambulance. There's a body of a young boy in the dumpster. What else can you tell me, Sam? There's work to be done, Carrie. Get to it. Don't throw it away. Detective, don't leave live ammunition lying around for children to find. Detective, any fluids to be taken from the boy will be extracted at the morgue. Detective, any fluids to be taken from the boy will be extracted at the morgue. It's not a recycling bin, it's a dumpster. Detective, leave the removal of the boy's body to the coroner's office. Your gesture has no meaning, Detective. Carrie, this is no time for target practice. Carrie, don't throw your keys away. A lipstick-stained cigarette lies near Hickman's body. Noting that a cigarette lay near the body could prove important later. Noting that a cigarette lay near the body could prove important later. Detective, smash the cigarette and you could be destroying evidence. Don't touch the cigarette. It could be evidence. A curious investigative technique, Detective. Carrie, what good would that do? Leave collecting evidence to SID. This man is guarding the scene. He is neither deceased nor evidence. He doesn't require chalking, Detective. Tipping is not required. Whoa, he's a good guy. Are you requesting a sample from Officer Woodbury? Forget it. Detective Officer Woodbury doesn't need those. Carrie, Officer Woodbury is aware that you're from Major Crimes Homicide. Detective Officer Woodbury is aware that you're from Major Crimes Homicide. It's Officer Bruce Woody Woodbury, LAPD. Notating Officer Woodbury's presence is unnecessary, as it'll be notated in the crime scene log. Don't throw that crime scene log away. You'll need it later. Carry the lid is heavy, but possible to lift without prying it open. The dumpster now sports a lock. It can't be opened. The dumpster is already open, Carrie, and you call yourself a detective? 
The dumpster is already open, Carrie, and you call yourself a detective. Detective, you'll need your homicide kit for the duration of this case. John, let me warn you. It's bad. Real bad. It's Hickman. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, too. Sorry the city is so full of dirtbags, creeps, and losers. Bob was a great guy, Sam. A great cop. Who the hell would do this to him? What the hell was he doing out there? Yes, sir, that is correct. I've never seen him before. No, sir. The Beretta 92F is a fine firearm, isn't it, sir? I'd like to work out of Parker Center someday, sir. Maybe you can put in a good word for me with the chief. Thank you, sir, but Woodbury and I have our patrol car. Excuse me, sir. With all due respect, I would like to point out the wall graffiti. From my daily patrols, I have come to recognize that symbol as a local gang symbol. It might be important. It might be worth notating. Pigskin? My wallet is Buffalo Hide. Yes, Detective Carey. Do you need something? Yes, sir. I know who you are. Officer Woodbury prepared the report, sir. Is there a problem with it? No. We rolled by, saw the body, radioed it in. There was no one in the alley besides the body. The neighbors came out once we set up the perimeter. It was quiet when we got here. We checked the alley for possible assailants, but found no one. Everything is pretty much as it was when we arrived. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The body was just lying there. I didn't know him, but Woody told me that the deceased was a cop, undercover guy working the neighborhood. Oh, Pittman or something like that. Those homicide kits have everything in them you seem to need. Personally, sir, I'd prefer the 147 grain black talon jacketed hollow points for home defense. Sir, I've been issued a pair, but thank you. That's one fly photo you do. Ain't seen nothing, man. Just chillin'. Some law about living? Whatever, man. I'm just hanging. Man, this be my hood. I mean, I be Raymond Jones the third. Ain't seen nor heard nothing, man. Just out for some fresh L.A. air. That's straight up. Ain't seen nothing, done nothing, know nothing. Have Detective Headquarters run a search on children reported missing, matching this child's description. Sir, so, I'd just be chilling here. No law against that. The crime scene log is to be included with the rest of your paperwork back at Parker Center. Hold on to it. An empty holster can mean only one thing. Another gun on the street. Don't tamper with the scene, Detective. Carrie, don't disturb the evidence. Recording the symbol could prove useful. No need for you to duplicate paperwork. Detective, noting physical evidence of the deceased is necessary, but most unpleasant. Carrie, don't throw it away. A gruesome sight. Contusions and burn marks appear on Hickman's abused body. Stop! This poor child was harmed enough already. The child does not need those gloves, Detective. Your gesture is pointless and obscure. Carrie, the cigarette could be evidence. Handling it would show poor judgment. Carrie, is there something inside the case you want for dealing with the cigarette? Let Chester from SID handle any possible evidence. Carrie, blow that cigarette apart and you could be destroying evidence. Detective, you must account for all issued ammo. Hold on to your clip. What is it you're trying to do? Detective, don't smash the cigarette. It could be evidence. Detective, this cigarette could be evidence. The area is lit well enough to see that it's a lipstick-stained cigarette. Hold on to your keys, Carrie. Strange idea, Detective. Detective, you need not handle the cigarette. SID will take care of it. Let SID handle any possible evidence. Detective, what's the purpose? The remnants of a man's life lie outlined in the dirt. Nothing but dust to dust and ashes to ashes.
Chalking allows the criminalist to know what it is you want photographed. Hickman can no longer hear you, Carrie. Chalking the body, a most unpleasant task. A gruesome sight. Contusions and burn marks appear on Hickman's abused body. No amount of money can bring your friend back to life. The man is dead. Have some respect. Keep your keys, Carrie. You'll be needing them. Recording information at the crime scene ensures accurate reports later. What exactly are you attempting to do? An aggressive gesture on your part, Detective. Your ID means nothing at this time, in this circumstance. Careful, Carrie. There could be fingerprints on that holster. The gun is missing. There's nothing to place in the baggie. Carrie, what's the purpose? That's a strange idea, Carrie. Chalking the body means that you outline the body with chalk, not that you put chalk on the body. What are your intentions, Detective? It's your car, Carrie, a 1993 T-Bird. Detective, a lot of people talk to their cars, usually when in traffic. Finish what you start, Carrie. It's not time to leave. Hey, shooting your city car is a criminal offense. Secure your gun. There's no need to record the fact you drove your car here. You work too hard for your money to give it away, Carrie. What exactly are you trying to do, Detective? Hey, this is one of the good guys. Knock that off. The county pays me well enough, John, but thanks anyway. John, there's been enough violence for one night, don't you think? Thank you, John, but I've brought all the field equipment I need. Bullet wounds puncture the boy's body. Nobles! Chester! We have another body! What he now needs, money cannot buy. Hold your fire! Get a grip! He's a victim, Carrie, not a suspected criminal. Field notes result in better written reports later. Touch that boy and you could lose valuable evidence. It's Officer Malcolm Allen, LAPD. The officer is not collecting evidence. That's SID's job. Since when is tipping required? Detective, he's not the deceased, nor is he evidence. Detective, no need to shine your flashlight into Officer Allen's eyes. The crime scene log will include that Officer Allen was present. Detective, what are you trying to accomplish? Whoa, he's one of the good guys. Officer Allen doesn't need those, Detective. There's no evidence to collect from Officer Allen. Your friend can no longer communicate, Carrie. What are you trying to accomplish, Carrie? Collecting samples is the criminalist's responsibility, not yours, Detective. No amount of money can bring your friend back to life. The man is dead. Have some respect. Those go in your gun, detective, not on the deceased. Your friend can no longer communicate, Carrie. Detective, have some respect. An aggressive act. Too aggressive, detective. The area is lit enough. You don't need your flashlight. Hang on to your keys, Carrie. You'll need them. Hickman doesn't require restraint, Gary. Detective, noting physical evidence of the deceased is necessary, but most unpleasant. Detective, what might you be trying to do? Way too aggressive, Gary. Try and calm down. Hickman doesn't need those. Collecting body fluids is the deputy coroner's responsibility, Detective. Your identification means nothing at this time, in this situation. The crime scene log is about Hickman, not for Hickman. It's the lucky Mini Mart dumpster. Never ever throw money away. Never know when you'll need that putty knife. Graffiti mars the neighborhood. Talking to the wall, Detective? Hello, I'm Detective Carey with the LAPD. Would you mind answering a few questions? Sir, I wrote that up for the lead investigator. That is you, isn't it? Sir, did you see any unusual activity or unfamiliar cars in the neighborhood? What time might you have heard these shots, sir? 
Standing by, Detective Carey, ready to collect samples or evidence if needed. You haven't properly marked or notated any evidence, Detective. Let me know when you have. Whenever you're ready, fellas, I'm finished. Detective Carey, have you found evidence you need recorded? John, have you found something? Graffiti is often left behind by gangs. Recording the symbol could prove useful. Detective Carey, sexual harassment is a violation of federal and state law and of city and department policy. Sexual harassment is viewed by the department as serious misconduct with disciplinary action up to and including termination. Please stop. And interfere with the efficiency of department operations. Please don't touch me again. It can lower morale, undermine the integrity of employee relationships. How are you doing, Detective? Do you need help opening your case? Carrie, I was issued a flashlight when I first joined the force. Carrie, I have ammo. Are you expecting trouble? Yes, Carrie. You need help with those? Yes? Officer Allen and I have our own ride. Carrie, if you would chalk the body, we could move on with the investigation. No disrespect intended. Yes, sir, Detective Carey. I have my crime scene log for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Officer Allen and I were on patrol. He was driving. As we passed the alley, I looked to my right. I saw the body. We radioed it in, stopped, set up the perimeter. All right, fellas. The body is ready for removal. John, we can handle it from here. Stop by tomorrow for the autopsy. We'll know more then. Unfortunately, our streets are being taken over by violence. Innocent people being killed. It's uncivilized, sir. Sure, Detective. This is one horrible night when one of our own goes down. I'm glad to be of service. Let me know when you want photos. Any other information you could give me, sir? Detective Carey, I realize you know your business. However, the longer you delay in locating possible evidence, the colder the evidence trail. Yes, Detective. Carey, rechalking is unnecessary. Carey, holster your weapon. The situation is charged enough. Yes, sir, Detective. Apparently, this citizen has seen enough violence for one day. Whoever did this was definitely non compass mentis. By the way, notice that the index finger on the right hand is missing. I'm Detective Carey, Major Crimes, Homicide, LAPD. I'd like to ask you a question or two. Let's start with your name. What is it, and do you live in the neighborhood, or are you just visiting? Well, Raymond, if this is your neighborhood, then you must know what goes on around here. What happened here tonight? You see anything unusual? Maybe a different car or some folks from another neighborhood? Detective, talking to the dumpster reeks of stress-related emotions. Detective, what is it you wish to record? The dumpster isn't locked, Detective. Try opening it the conventional way. Chester, take over on the evidence. Recording information at the crime scene ensures accurate reports later. Yes, sir. Woodbury and I were on our regular patrol. We spotted the body as we drove by. We radioed in, then moved in on the scene. It's hard to say, John. There are no evident bullet wounds. There are cervical contusions, possibly asphyxiation. There's no unusual sputum, so it's difficult to think poisoning, but I'm not ruling anything out. It's a sad state of affairs, John. It's situations like this, a child victimized by violence, that makes it tough to do this job. We'll get another car here, John. Until we autopsy, we won't know much more. To make any further comments would be pure conjecture on my part. Thank you, Detective, but I'm already wearing a pair. Detective, I carry my own containers. Thank you just the same. Detective, I believe that is yours. I have my own paperwork to do. Hey, Carrie, Deputy Nobles brought all the equipment he needs. Keep your kit. Deputy Nobles has all the supplies he needs. Detective, Nobles is here in an official capacity. He's not a suspect. Deputy Nobles is already wearing his rubber gloves. I know karate, Detective. Back off. No, sir. I, I mean, I mean, yes, sir. Yeah, I'll answer you. Jack. To Jack. I hear, hear shots fast, like, 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 pop, 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 pop. It was, it, it, it pop, pop. 
pop, 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 pop. And I just hear them shots. I was scared. Pop, pop, pop. I, I know this sound. It's, it's killing the children. Chalking the body means that you outline the body with chalk, not that you put chalk on the body. Notating Officer Woodbury's presence is unnecessary, as it'll be notated in the crime scene log. He looks no more than six or seven years of age. Justice does not have a price. Detective, this cigarette could be evidence. Handling it would show poor judgment. Detective, is there something inside the case you want for dealing with the cigarette? The area is lit well enough to see that it's a lipstick-stained cigarette. Chalking allows the criminalist to know what it is you want photographed. A long way. Hell, Sam, Bob and I went through the academy together. We shared a ride for five years. I'm that little girl's godfather. Hickman? Bob Hickman? He's been badly mutilated, John. Tortured, really. My God, Sam! Has Bob's wife, Catherine, been informed? When the call came in, I was told Hickman's captain was headed to their house. They have a little girl, don't they? Yeah, Valerie. Her name is Valerie. Look, John, I know you and Bob went back a long way. Identifying yourself again is unnecessary, Detective. Chester, you get the needed evidence? Follow protocol, Carrie. The deputy coroner has a job to do. Yes, John, what is it? Can I give you a hand? The graffiti paint is wet. This work is fresh. Detective, avoid adding to the neighborhood graffiti. The paint is dry, though it appears fresh. Sam, Bob was my best friend. Yeah, yeah, you could say we went back a long way. I'm sorry, John, I... I don't know, John. It's your job to find out. My job is to pick up the body and find the cause of death. It's your car, Carrie, a 1993 T-Bird. The dumpster contains the remains of a bullet-riddled child. Who would riddle a young boy's body with bullets and throw it into a dumpster? What kind of world are we living in? The dumpster is open, Detective. It doesn't need prying. It looks like it's going to be a busy night for you, Chester. Hello, Chester. Thanks for coming out. It's the trunk of your car, Detective. Detective, your car trunk is locked. Keep this with you, Carrie. You'll need it. Shoot it open? That's a bit violent, don't you think, Detective? Okay, Chester. Take care of the evidence I've notated. All right, Detective. So, Mr. Jones, what you're telling me is you don't have anything to tell me. Is that correct? John, please notate what you feel is important about the body. I'd like to get it moved to the morgue and begin autopsy. This man does not warrant a cursory search for weapons. Carrie, giving your kit to this fellow is not a good idea. Don't waste your batteries. Probably not a good idea to supply the local citizenry with live ammo. Are we collecting samples? Hold on to your gloves. You never know when you'll need them. Detective, he might appear to have an attitude, but that's not criminal. Holster your weapon. Using gloves to handle this holster would be appropriate. However, let the criminalist or the deputy coroner handle all evidence. Detective, this is not a handcuff case. Detective, this is not a handcuff case. Hickman's empty holster could have meaning. No treasure here. Alleys can be great sources of hidden treasure, Detective. Sky riding, perhaps? The air is thick with remorse, but you can't touch it. Another smoggy day in Los Angeles. The sun will soon be rising. Would you quit waving that thing around? There's work to do. To whom do you wish to speak? Detective, don't provide a suspicious character with potential drug paraphernalia. Detective, don't provide a suspicious character with potential drug paraphernalia. He is not deceased, nor evidence. He doesn't require chalking. No need to do that, Carrie. Have more respect for your responsibilities. You need this report, Detective. 
An unnecessary gesture on your part, Carrie. Leave the evidence collecting to Chester from SID. The body rests on garbage. It's impossible to chalk. Get a grip, Carrie. The boy does not need those coins. Detective, if your intention is to gather evidence, then talk to the criminalist. This is her jurisdiction. There's enough light to see by. Save your batteries. Detective, leave fluid sampling to Deputy Coroner Nobles. This alley has seen better days. Yep, they feel like buildings. You're not here for target practice, Carrie. Many businesses back up to this alley, Detective. You're too old to climb a pole, Carrie. Besides, you might fall off and break your back. You're too old to climb a pole, Carrie. Besides, you might fall off and break your back. The ricochet from that pole could easily kill someone. It's a perfect place to post missing pet flyers, Carrie. Detective, the surface is rough. What did you expect? Shooting up the neighborhood is bad form. Holster your weapon. An interesting choice of color for an otherwise dreary fence. He doesn't need to be restrained. It's Sam Nobles, Deputy Coroner, Los Angeles County. Nobles will write up his own report for his supervisors. Calm down, Carrie. Chester knows you're a detective. No need to flash her. Chester works in SID at Parker Center. No need to identify yourself. It's Chester, Julie Chester, criminalist SID. Detective, the criminalist's presence need not be officially notated. Detective, it's best to let Chester concentrate on her work. That baggie will do nothing for the removal of the boy's body. Chalking the dumpster is unnecessary, Carrie. What is the purpose of that, Detective? Detective, don't throw money away. The back alley to the Lucky Mini Mart. It doesn't look so lucky now. Detective, this information is already recorded. You haven't received any information pertinent to the investigation, Carrie. Not much chance of reaching that billboard from here. It's a dare billboard. Remember, Detective, just say no. The tortured and tormented body of Bob Hickman, LAPD, lies lifeless among the alley debris. An obvious case of felonious homicide. Identifying yourself to a corpse is unnecessary. It's not your job to collect body fluids. Callous behavior on your part, Gary. The report is about Hickman, not for Hickman, Detective. Disturbing evidence now can result in a mistrial later. Let SID or the coroner's assistant handle all evidence, Detective. Is there something in your homicide kit you need, Detective? Allow the deputy coroner or SID to collect samples, Carrie. That's their jurisdiction. You don't need those, Carrie. You're not to touch the body. Yep, signage is important to a prosperous business. Leave it in place, Carrie. It's a crime scene. Police banner guard tape secures the alley for investigation. Your car doesn't need a spare. Besides, it looks like a retread. Obviously, the owner of this tire did not know that rubber is recyclable. Leave the tape, Carrie. The 77th Division will want to clear it. It's police banner guard tape, torn and useless. Detective, climbing trees is not what the city of Los Angeles pays you for. Carrie, respect nature. Holster your weapon. Trees provide oxygen and shade, both very much needed in the city of Angels. Trees provide oxygen and shade, both very much needed in the city of Angels. The body of a young boy lies strewn in the dumpster. The man's teetering already, Carrie. Don't push him over. You're going to need your kit for this case. Don't give it away. Detective, save your batteries. You might need that clip, Carrie. Detective, are you collecting a sample? Put the jar away. The man does not require handling, nor is he bleeding. Detective, this man is not under arrest. Handcuffs are unnecessary. 
This is an innocent bystander. Holster your weapon. Detective, he doesn't appear impressed that you work out of Parker Center. Better to keep those. You never know when you'll need them. Carrie, the man appears intoxicated and a bit agitated. Detective, that's much too aggressive. The man does not appear to have anything stuck on him or in him. You work too hard for your money to give it away, Carrie. This mess would be better off left alone. Detective, don't trust your car keys with him. He appears shifty. This young man appears interested in the alley proceedings. The young man's interest appears a bit suspicious. Always record your gut feelings. Sometimes this job is pure instincts. The young man's interest appears a bit suspicious. Always record your gut feelings. Sometimes this job is pure instincts. Detective, calm down. He's just a punk. Don't ruin your career over him. Carrie, what would be the purpose of this? Come on, paying informants is something that must be department approved. Stucco has a texture like no other. The lucky mini-mart, a shopper's dream. Leave it be, Carrie. You could injure or kill innocent citizens. Holster your weapon. Jeez, detective. Stop, detective. He's a good guy. John, we worked together for years. I realize you're the commanding officer here. Very funny, John. Very funny. Do you need a hug, John? The crime scene log is to be included with the rest of your paperwork back at Parker Center. Hold on to it. Detective, what would he need with that? Hello, I'm Detective Carey, LAPD. Would you mind answering a question or two? This he does not need. What is your name, sir? Detective Carey, have you found evidence you need recorded? An empty holster can mean only one thing, another gun on the street. Carey, try and regain your composure. You're the lead investigator here. Detective, what are you attempting to do? What are you trying to load? There's no gun here. There's enough light to see by, Detective. Tampering with evidence is a criminal offense. Detective, leave the holster for the criminalist to examine. Calm down, Carey. Put that away. Detective, let the deputy coroner or the criminalist handle any evidence. Detective, I carry my own supplies, but thank you. Thank you, Detective, but I carry my own. Are you trying to insult me, Detective? Is this some kind of macho thing? Back off, Detective. I have marksman status at the range. I'm quite capable of loading my own gun, Detective. I beg your pardon, Detective? Back off, Detective. Detective, please chalk what you would like photographed or collected. It's much more effective than putting chalk on me. I can see well enough without your assistance, Detective. Thank you anyway. Thank you, Detective, but I have my own ride. Getting a bit frisky, Detective? I'd appreciate a more professional attitude from you. I carry my own tools, Detective. Thank you anyway. Ah, the smell emanating from the dumpster is putrid. Trying to give somebody a hot foot? Come on. Start behaving like a detective. Like many streets in L.A., this sidewalk is old and cracked. Knock it off with the littering. Someone could get cut if you leave this here. Detective, what kind of example are you providing? This will get trampled on if left here. You're a detective. That's no way to behave. Carrie, it's not your job to fix the street. Don't touch him, Carrie. Then you won't have to wear the gloves. This is a broken man. However, he needs alcohol counseling, not a canister of glue. This is a broken man. However, he needs alcohol counseling, not a canister of glue. Stop! This man has done nothing to warrant arrest. Holster your weapon. This man is not threatening your life. Regain your senses. Holster your weapon. An unwise and unwarranted tactic, detective. Does this really look like Katherine Hickman? This guy is too drunk to drive. Keep the keys. An act of charity, perhaps? It's a shame what a life of alcohol will do to a man. This man was at the crime scene last night. 
This man is drunk. He shouldn't play with matches. This guy hasn't seen the light of another neighborhood in years. Forget it. This guy hasn't seen the light of another neighborhood in years. Forget it. Even the smallest detail can have meaning. Stop. This guy has been drinking. Drugs and alcohol don't mix. Careful. Drop this and glass shards will be everywhere. The sidewalk is cracked and broken, but it'll take more than glue to fix it. The sidewalk is cracked and broken, but it'll take more than glue to fix it. Detective, you can't arrest a sidewalk. Careful, the ricochet could kill an innocent citizen. Leave this lying around and you won't get into Parker Center. I ain't going for it. And I don't play like that. I ain't having it. Ain't no joke. Back up, Jack. Bravo! Hey, what's up with that? You popping me? Yo, Five-O, you got some notion of taking me down? Ain't having it. Believe that. You stupid or something? I'm conducting business here. I got constitutional rights. Yo, chill, man. I ain't the one. You stupid or something? I'm conducting business here. I got constitutional rights. Chill, Five-O. I'm conducting business. The, the cop was... He was dead. Chill, Five-O. I'm conducting business. The mishandling evidence can result in mistrial, Detective. This is not a record and tape store. Don't add to the existing graffiti problem. Remember, you're LAPD. What are you attempting to do, Detective? Stop! Don't burn down the store. This store doesn't need to be tied down. Stop! That would be arson in the first degree. What are you trying to unlock? You can't arrest a building, Carrie. What is it about this store you wish to notate? This is no place to build a memorial to Bob Hickman. Detective, you're not the maintenance man for this store. Stop! Why hit the store? That's very unprofessional. Trying to listen through the wall? It won't work, Detective. Carrie, don't post your ID on the wall. This is no place to post this memo. What it might say if it could talk, eh, Detective? This is a sidewalk, not a closet. Why leave your wallet lying in the street? Leave this here and someone could trip over it. Chain link fences dominate the city. Climbing over that fence would be fun, but not very dignified for a detective, detective. Feeling lucky? Leave it, Carrie. Remember, part of the money goes to our schools. Awnings. A must for protection from the Southern California sun. It looks as precarious as it is. Leave it be. It might be a good place to hide things, but then again, maybe not. A perfectly beautiful California day. Reaching for the stars? Well, the stars aren't out right now. Random fire is unlawful. Secure your weapon. This young man has not offered any new information regarding the case. Stop! Your actions would result in assault charges against you. Carrie, the box is jammed. It doesn't take dollar bills, coins only. The Times probably wouldn't appreciate that action, nor would the department. You've just lost your money. The box is jammed. You don't work for the Times. You don't have keys to this paper box. A door is a door is a door, detective. Open says me. Or is that open sesame? Either way, it doesn't work. It doesn't care. Go on in. Ah, cigarettes. A most worthwhile expenditure of one's finances. You don't work at the Lucky Many Mart. Leave the sign. This is not here for your shooting pleasure. Secure your gun. If the advertising is any indication, this store sells a lot of beer. Cleaning it wouldn't help. The Lucky Mini Mart. <laughs> With a name like that, they must sell lottery tickets. 
Never ever, detective, will this building speak.